Today I'm going to teach you how to make polyurethane climbing cords. A lot of people have made home climbing boards, so I thought we might show you how to make these holds. I don't want to waste any more time, so if we're going to do it fast, let's plant some fast music. Hit the jungle! First up, you want to get a block of floral foam. It's really easy to shape. You want to cut it to a shape with a really sharp knife. My daddy did this because it's dangerous. Now you want to start smoothing the shape out with your fingers. We decided to make a few holes at once to save time. Remember to always use a dust mask because the dust from floral foam is really bad for your lungs. This one is a little junk to match another big junk that we made. This one is a pocket. We wanted to add some variety. Now the fun bit, silicon casting. To save money, you want to minimise the amount of space, so then you use less silicon. Silicon is the most expensive item. We use poster board with a sharp knife to cut a V shape around the line of your hold. Then we use the plastic from a milk carton to build a wall around it. Glue it in with a hot glue gun. Make sure you use lots of glue, then you don't have any leaks. Don't forget to double check your holes. We completely forgot to add the bolt holes. Lucky we did a double check, hey? One more time for the people in the back. The silicon that we use is Adsol 20. You can find the link in the description. You mix it half and half, so it's really easy to do. Stir it well, but don't do it too quickly. 
You don't want bubbles because they ruin the definition. Make a tip. Pour it really slowly as a thin bit because then you won't get as many bubbles as well. We actually ran out of silicon, so we had to improvise. We used lumps of poster board to fill up the excess space, so we didn't need as much silicon. Now you have to wait 60 minutes. It takes an hour to cure. Now, open it up. any excess rubber you want a nice clean lip remove all the floral foam give it a good wash and then make sure it's really dry if there's any moisture left the polyurethane bubbles and you really really don't want that now for the resin we use fast cast 120 it's a type of polyurethane resin, the same sort that they use at climbing walls. And remember, always wear a mask. Shiny and chrome. You mix the resin half and half and make sure you stir it slowly, but not too fast because you don't want bubbles. You can also colour it, but make sure you use polyurethane colouring. It can't be water based. Pour it in and then wait 20 minutes. Now's the fun bit, open them up. Carefully peel away the sides. It's strong stuff, but if it's thin anywhere, it could rip. Here's a quick time lapse of the mega jug that we made.
want to tidy up the hole with the knife and remove any sharp edges. Glue will wash it into the bolt hole to make it nice and strong. And that's it! And you made your own climbing cord. Well done, you! And here's the mega jug! Next week, I'm going to show you how to make a pegboard to store all your climbing gear tidy. Peace out!